Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. We've done the Earth and Wind Temples, but now we need to get the Trifle Shards scattered across the world in the Great Sea so that we can head down to Hyrule. So this is going to take us a little bit, and I also want to take out all the side quests that I have ignored pretty much throughout this entire playthrough. Oh, salvage, 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 salvage. salvage. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit before we continue the story, but I there's still quite a, a few other things we need to do. Which will include getting the Triforce Shards, so... Anyway, piece of heart from a salvage, that's pretty good. I should probably also check uh, the trade charts I got from the Wind Temple. Chart 5, okay, that's a fairy isle. You can tell by the shape of it. Actually, is it? No, it is, it is. It's just got a little extra isle next to it. Um, we're also still missing quite a lot of treasure charts, apparently. Uh, but anyway, let's get onto this island over here real quick, if I can. I also want to get out my grappling hook, so let's do that. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. Also, I love the shape of this island. It's really cool. But also, two blue chews. Two. Just absolutely incredible. Two in one spot. The, there are ten of them, that's a that's a fifth of all the blue chews. Just there. Anyway, a church chart. That's actually quite nice of them to give that to me right there. Also two yellow rupees from the chews, that's interesting. Anyway, let's go through this list again. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's Tingle Island. But anyway. I think that's everything here, other than the submarine. I think I saw a submarine. Yeah, there is a submarine. And also getting the actual uh, chart, chart for the island. Since we have to do that as well. There's still quite a lot of islands I haven't even visited yet. All completed. Let's do all the things. Okay, feed you. If you can target it, you can reach it, so... Hoy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I won't take you on a chart, see chart information. Give it to me. Crescent Moon Island. Very nice. You'd best be careful sailing these waters on nights when the moon is full. But why wouldn't it be crescent? Ah, uh, uh, fine, I don't make the rules. Well, if you like pure soul-freezing horror, Fry, then maybe you can handle it. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some bait, more bait, in the water. Okay, let's check out that submarine then. I am too used to playing randomizers, apparently. I have to get every single treasure chest. I can possibly get, so. Just go in here. Also, I think there are some islands that don't actually have anything. Which will be interesting. Hello, Mini Blin. Let me just take you out. Okay, one of those lights light up. And now there's more. Ow! Actually, there's something I can possibly do now that would make this easier, but also... I'm in here and I don't really care too much. About just taking out tons and tons and tons of Mini Blins. I bet, though, if I just keep spin attacking, they won't even get close. You can't hit me now. Please spin attack. I'm pressing, I'm rotating the control stick as much as possible, and it's not spin attacking. There we go. Another light, but there's still more to go. Just keep rotating the control stick. I'm dying right now. I can't even rotate the control stick properly anymore. But I bet if I just keep going absolutely insane, I can do that. So, what's this? Flowers in here I guess we can destroy? I just heard the sounds of the dead. I'm scared. <laughs> 
I could hear the mini blends after they were all gone. Anyway, let's head up here and get the reward for... The ghosts are... Oh, hello. Oh my goodness, sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. That was funny. Oh my goodness, it... it uh, it dropped out of the world. It was on... It, it was outside the wall and it dropped out of the world. Okay. Okay, um... <laughs> that was way too funny. I was hearing the sounds of the dead and then I... Then it turned out that there was just one in here. Anyway, true chart. That's good. Because we need all of those. Now, which one is that one? It's going to be really funny if I went the wrong way to get to it. I went the wrong way to get to it. Of course, it's one of the earliest ones. It's number nine. It's the one right next to it. Which island is that? Oh, it's that one. Okay. Cool. I'll do that then at some point. How many things do I have? I need to check this. I need to check. 16. Okay. I need more. I need more. I need a lot more than that. I need more knight's crests. I think it's... 20, probably. Well, so that reminds me that we have the golden feathers all collected. So I could also do that now. Ah, uh, but I have a few other stops I could probably make along the way. So let's head over to the east of here. Probably can get out some more bait since we're heading to another island that we haven't been to before. Which I think is one of the star islands. If that makes any sense. There's also those lookouts that I can go take care of now. I probably couldn't have done it much earlier than this. I could have done it at the Tower of the Gods at least, so. But anyway, let's get that, please. Oh, really? Um, I can't even put down more bait. Please? Um, oh, is it because they're boats? It's probably because the boats. Hang on. Also, hello, bird. Goodbye, bird. I can't even reach that one. Oh, hey, you dropped a golden feather. That's interesting. Hello, gunboat. Ah! I'm gonna blow myself up. Nope, I'm fine. That's lucky. Anyway, where is... Oh, hey, Rupee. I need the fish to actually respond to me, so let's do that. There we go. First try. That was just a lot of wasted bait. It's a good thing it's only 30 rupees for three pieces of bait. Hoi, small fry. Seven Star Isles, and it's it's cool because the Seven Star Isles actually is a constellation in the sky at night. You can actually see it. It's really cool. If you see seagulls flying around some seawaters, that's a sign you need to be wary, Fry, because the seagulls flock to wherever big octos appear. Big octos. I tell you, those things don't mess around. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Also, that would have been a lot more helpful. If I was able to just roam around the sea where, whenever I wanted a lot earlier, but not really that helpful now. But anyway, let me... I guess I don't have the... The trade chart for this island, but I'll have, to, so I'll have to come back here. There's nothing else to do other than the lookout, I believe, though, so... Let's take a look at that, and we will need our bow, so it's a good thing I've still got that equipped. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, stop. Just, no, stop, no! Why is that the button? It's fine. Just need to get in nice and close. I was trying to use the... Trying to, yeah, stop with the Wind Waker because you can stop instantly. But I pressed the A button instead of the B button to stop. Which is not how that is done. But anyway. Let's head on up here then. We need to take out this whiz robe. So let's do that. We get a true chest. Let's open that up. Red rupee, okay. What a pleasant surprise. 
But now we need to take out this wizard rope. Also, the Master Sword is stronger now that we have the other upgrade. So we actually upgrade the Master Sword twice after getting it. So we get three sword upgrades, basically. Also, we need to take out this wizard robe and also that one. If I can aim better. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There. There we go. And you can't get that one without a ranged attack, so that's why you have to come back to this later. Golden Feather that we don't need. But anyway, that's all the trade chests made visible now, so. And that's all the wizard robes taken care of. So I could only do this after the Tower of the Gods, basically. Since we need a bow. That's the earliest time I think you get a projectile weapon. I, mm, I don't know about the boomerang. I don't think the boomerang works for it. Maybe it does. Anyway, true shot. That's useful, so. Let's head back down to our boat. Come on, get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat. Okay, let's also take a look at what chart that is. Oh, looks like that's 16. Come on, please. Okay, that's the Shark Isle. Okay. So, let's keep heading to the east. Since there's still more stuff to do in this corner. Also, if you go too far north, south, east, or west, out of bounds of the map on the Great Sea, you just get turned around by the King of Red Lions, so... But anyway, I believe this island over here is actually something important for us, so let's switch over to the incredible chart because there's a piece of the Triforce here, apparently. So let's see about doing that. Doesn't look like there's any treasure to find here. Oh, there is. That's good. I don't know which chart that's for, but still. All we need to know is that we have it and we can get it, so. That's really all it count comes down to. But if you st still haven't got a treasure chart completed and you have all the map spaces on the map drawn in, it's a lot easier to find, so. Hey, secret cave chart! Now you know where to find secret cave caverns. Open the chart on the map screen to view it. Let me do that real quick, actually. Secret cave chart. I went too far. Oh my goodness. Please. Control stick. Okay. So there's one here. Oh my goodness. There's two on... What island is that? Oh, that's that island? Okay. I think it's that island. Am I... Am I wrong? No, that's the right... Interesting. Very interesting. Anyway. Um... Cool. So we can see all the islands that have caves in them. Which is a lot, apparently, down south. But anyway, I also want to get the... The map for this island. So let's do that. Thank you. And we're gonna need a hookshot for this island, so... Hoi, small fry! Overlook Island. It's easy to overlook, but that's because you need the hookshot to get anywhere in it. Hey, small fry, do you know about the Golden Triumph Forks? <laughs> yes, I do. It's there, I tell you, on that island, the genuine article. But the cliff there rises sharply, and even if you wanted to climb it, there aren't any ledges or fo footings for you to grab onto. So, what are you gonna do, small fry? And that's all the info I've got to offer. Cool. Let's get out a uh, thing. The hookshot. And let's not get out of the boat, please. Let's go to the lowest part of the island. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's good to have my grappling hook out as well, so... Let's just aim at the island and... Not be close enough, apparently. Let me see if I can get closer. Closer. Please. Thank you, grappling hook. Well, 
no, what's it called? Hookshot over to the tree, and then we can get around between trees. But also, look at that. Another blue chew. <laughs> so let's burn it. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that I still had the fire out on the bow, but that's okay. That's another blue chew done. Ah, please aim. There's a hole here, but I don't know if there's anything else. Let me check up here real quick. There's some pots with some refills and some flowers, but I think that's everything up here probably. I don't remember there being anything in the randomizer, so let's go down here. So, we have this interesting cave, which we're going to have to get very familiar with because we have a few places in the world that are going to look like this, so... Let's get started by fighting some Amos. Probably want to get out my own bombs just because it's easier, and I have plenty, so... Okay, I'm going to just get out of the way. There we go. You can also press the, the bomb button, or the item button that you've set your bombs to, to throw it again after you just pull one out, so that's what I usually do is just double tap the... I say double tap, but anyway, <laughs> it, it usually takes a little more than that to throw the bomb. Anyway, after doing that room, the fire outside lights up, so... And we get to go into the next room. Oh, hello. I think, though, if actually if I use bombs, I can actually blow them up to break them apart instantly. Which is useful sometimes, but they usually just get back into one piece very quickly, so. Come on. Ow. I'm, I'm sad that these guys can't hit each other. Ow. Okay, good. Please let me hit you. This is actually a fairly good strategy. Especially if there are two of them and you need to w switch between them. But anyway, let me grab rupees if I can, because that's the main thing that I really want right now, out of these. Okay. With that, this one also lights up. And we need to keep going around the circle and get the four doors that are like that. Okay, um... Please, thank you. Oh, they can summon. That's rude. That's very rude, actually. Oh my goodness, there's so many enemies in here right now. Can I please get rid of the whiz robe? No, apparently not. There's actually still two whiz robes. Oh my goodness, keys and these things. Please, attack. Thank you. Take you out. Okay. And you. Very nice. I think I possibly have to take out these things as well. Just because. Give me the rupee. Okay. Die. Please. There we go. Okay. Just one more. Just one more. Oh, that's interesting. I need to be very careful about here. Because I want... Give me. Thank you. I want that. I also want that. Because there are five of these guys. And obviously I want all of them. Please. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, last one. Give me that. No, hang on. There we go. And now we can take care of them. Easy. Okay, so that's all the rooms, side rooms done. So let's head back into the main room. And now there are dark nuts in the middle. That we'll have to take out. Four of them, wow. Oh my goodness, why didn't you break his helmet? Also, they can break down the pillars which have rupees inside of them. But this is going to be how we're going to get the last... Uh, Knight's Crest that we haven't got yet. 
Ow. Also, you want to fight the Dark Nut that's closest to you, because that's the one that's going to attack you first. How did that work? Ah! Please, please, please. Thank you. Also, you want to take out their ar ones with armor if you can. They move faster once they get rid of their armor as well, so... If you can all make them all the same, that's good for you. Oh, give me the rupees. Wow. Ow. Well, that worked out well. They really shouldn't have fought me because they, they were going to lose no matter what. But anyway, let's get these knight's crests because we need them. I don't remember how many we need, though. And we can also... Pick up their weapons, please. And we can take down the last pillars to get the rupees inside of them. So let's do that, because they're usually pretty good. Usually. Magic. Not quite what I want. But anyway, for taking out, or for opening up all the doors, fighting all the enemies in the side rooms, and for fighting the uh, iron knuckles in the middle, Dark Nuts, that's the one. We can go into this special looking room here. And there is one of these for us to play or conduct the... I can't remember what it's called anyway. I can't even re It's not going to tell what the name of the thing is called. But anyway, we just need to conduct the song to control the wind on this spot. And it gives us the treasure chest with our special reward in it. You got a Triforce Shard. You need seven more shards to form a complete piece of the Triforce. So there we go. We have our first piece of the Triforce. And there, there it is on our inventory. We can see that we are missing quite a fair bit of it. But also, that's first one of eight, so... But anyway, that's everything here. And yeah, I think that's everything on this island. And, it, and this section of the map, so that's pretty good. Okay then. We can probably head down south now. Just a little bit. Where's my boat? Is it down there? Yes, it is. Don't think there's any extra submarines or lookouts to worry about, so we are good. To head down to the next island, which is a weird island. But hopefully I can do well in what we need to do here. We will need the magic extension for what we're about to do over here, so I'm glad that I got it earlier. I probably should have done it way earlier. But still. I might actually get the thing for this island. If I can. Where's the fish? I think it's... Am I seeing it or is that seagulls? Ah, uh, there it is. There's also a submarine here I could take care of. Ah, uh, please. Bait. There we go. I <laughs> just have my crane out. Ah, crane! Hoist more fry. Nope, there it goes. Cool. But this is... Flight Control Platform. To the west of here, over on Dragon Roost Island, you'll see all kinds of rocks. Big ones, little ones. You get the picture. Anyway, they say that long ago they used to be a treasure hidden inside those things. Who knows? There may still be some left. You should go- should open your eyes and take a look around from as high up as you- as the sun to as low as your toes. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear, yeah, I know. Cool. Let's actually head to the submarine first, I think. Since I'm not going to be going down more south until later. So let's clean up this section of the map. Oh, fog? Fog. Also switch. Let me hit that switch. 
Okay, no fog. But also, whiz robe. Let's just take you out in one hit. Choose. Oh, also whiz robe. Take you out. Oh, whiz robe. Whiz robe. Why did you turn around, Link? Ow. Mini blends. Oh boy, this is turning into enemy hell. Please. Why can you not target the whiz robe? Please. Ah, target the whiz robe. Oh my gosh, I missed. Please shoot. Oh my gosh, wrong frame. Please shoot the whiz robe. Please shoot the whiz robe. Please shoot the whiz robe. There's two whiz robes. Where is it? 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 Okay, shoot the whiz robe. Take out the mini blends. And we're good. Cool. Oh, I can hear a ghost again. Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna leave that ghost alone and hope it doesn't hurt me. And let's get the nothing. Treasure. Just have to make it appear first. How do we know there was treasure on this boat? It was so well hidden that I it was invisible, and somehow I still knew there was treasure in this boat. Platform chart! Now I can see where the platforms are around the world. Hang on. No, stop. Why do I always do that? So there we go, we can see all the platforms around the world. I probably want to visit them all, <laughs> just to make sure that there's no treasure left on them. This is going to take me a while, but that's okay. I'm doing it all from memory, and not sure if I'm getting everything, so I, 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 I'm trying my best. But anyway, let's actually take a look at the flight control platform. Please get in the boat. Please, please, please get in the boat. Okay. I think that's everything else. We did just get a chart that shows that there's no platforms here. I'm pretty sure unless this counts as a platform. Now, let's head on up here. Cutscene. We can see everything. Birdman Contest! Sign in, counter up there! If you think you were born to fly, then take the challenge of the sky to win the twin fame and prizes. Well, I was hoping that last line was gonna rhyme. <laughs> anyway, there's also a post box here with nothing in it for us, apparently. Ho oh, ho! All the way out there! I see, I see, quite so! Uh. Greetings, O person who has surely come to take the challenge of the bur bur big sky. This is where you can register for the official Rito Tribe Birdman Contest. And now listen, you are free to use any means, methods, or tools you have at your disposal to help you, you soar through the air. The rules are simple. See how far you can fly before you crash into the ro 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 roiling seas. Like so much dead weight driftwood. A banner stands now at the site where the great and talented champion who was has flown the farthest to date crashed into the frothy waves in a massive splash of glory. If you are able to pass off that flag, then you will be the new champion and will be drenched in praise. Much as you will be drenched in seawater. <laughs> as much as you... Yeah. Uh, the participation fee is a mere 10 rupees. Well, we take the challenge? I will. Oh, okay. Then up the ladder you go. My brother awaits you up top. Uh, you don't seem to have any wings or feathers or anything on your back. So, you will have to do something... We have You have to do something that you can use to fly, right? Oh my goodness. I'm trying to read and my brain's dying. I sure hope so. Here's wishing the winds beneath your, uh, thing, whatever it is. That's also another good point. But also we use the swift sail to get up here. 
Ah, a challenger. The contest is afoot. Waluigi? <laughs> you see, that banner far off in the distance? That marks the record distance set by our great and talented champion. You must pass that banner. Okay. I shall do that. There's also magic up here to obviously help you. And this is why we want the magic upgrade, because now we have more magic to fly with. And I think the wind's already in the right direction. Let me just double check that. Ah, uh, yes it is. Cool. So, let's get out our magical Deku Leaf of Time. And... Let's fly, hopefully catching all the extra wind updrafts that we need to actually reach the end. Oh my goodness, please. Please. Please, 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 catch me, catch me, catch me, thank you. Let's keep flying. Also, I think we train magic slower in this version, maybe? I hope so, because I'm not doing well. Okay, catch me, thank you. Okay, I'm not gonna catch that one, am I? I'm gonna run out of magic, probably. I was too careful early on. Oh please, 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 no! Am I past the finish line? Sploosh! Flight distance was 254 yards. Yes, a whopping 254 yards. Oh wait, that's Waluigi, I forgot. 254 yards, really? Wow, that's some great flying, but no. But not, but, but not quite. Great and talented. I have no more advice to share with you, and that's all that's left is to cast your luck to the wind and just fly. Fly boy, fly. Flyboy, you say? Well, I want to go again, so let's do that. Well, sorry, if the furthest distance that the best champion has ever flown is that, then what do you think about the cutscene where... the po p people, the other Rito were flying when they were carrying Link and Tetra away from the Forsaken Fortress? And even after they did that, because they just flew off at full speed to, and we didn't see them again. I'm not gonna win this because I didn't get any updraft. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Because it has to be either the timing of the which way the things are going. Anyway. You didn't make it all the way. Cool. Let me go again. I have to do it. 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 It's a good thing they just refill your magic. It's quite helpful. Okay, okay. One, two, three! Please, 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 please. I beg you. Just catch me, catch me, catch me, catch me, catch me. Thank you. That's good. That's a good. That's a very good. Now we just need to make it to the end if we can. If we catch this next updraft, we should be perfect, actually. Oh, just a little bit. Not quite enough. We need another one, I think. But I also need to go at full speed now, otherwise I'm not going to make it. I feel like I'm not going to make it anyway. What? What? Oh, maybe? Maybe? Please don't touch the water. 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 Yes, 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 yes. I think I made it. Goal! Congratulations! Our current, re current record is an impressive 262 yards. Oh, breathtaking. You have shown me an incredible feat of aerial navigation. My eyes, tr they are truly unworthy. The voice has died slightly. Amazing, you blew past my brother's best record in impressive fashion. You would make a fine and distinguished member of the Rito tribe, I guarantee it. The former champion upstairs says so too. You're both great and talented. So, as the new champion of the Birdman contest, please accept this great and talented prize. Pizza Heart, cool. 
Come back anytime you feel the desire to fly again. I shall await you. I wait with one eye on the sky and the other on the sea. Cool. Very cool. We're done here, though. So, I guess that's it. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.